What's this all about? Somebody coming? See me in a long time. Yeah. It's about time to go out and have a little look around. See, she's a friend of yours. Since the last time you was up here, Lassie. You're growing me big and strong like your ma. Boone will see to that. And Lassie and me are gonna head up the ridge. Let's see you two later. Come on, girl. Lost? No, sir. We're setting up a surveying camp just over the ridge. Surveyors? What for? You're Boone Sawyer, aren't you? We were told we might run into you. You run into me, all right. I'm uh, kind of in charge of this area for the Forest Service. Uh, we have a permit. It also enables us to use this old road. Power company, huh? Just a preliminary survey. We might run some power lines through this area. There'll be no power lines through here. I just work for a living, Mr. Sawyer. I do what I'm told. If you got any complaints, you'll have to fight City Hall, not me. I'll do just that. Come on, Les. I wouldn't put up that camp too permanent. I got a feeling you'll be moving pretty soon. Boom Sawyer, what brings you out of your private heaven? Not so private today. Some surveyors said they were authorized by the Forest Service to come up there and tromp around. I know, I signed the permit myself. Well, maybe you don't know what they're surveying for. Power lines, but it's just a preliminary survey. In the dictionary, preliminary ain't but a few pages away from permanent. No decision's been made yet. Well, the fact that they're up there is decision enough for me. I thought you were on my side. I am, Boone, but that's public land. Others have access to it. I have regulations to go by. A 
Well, the power company's going to improve their facilities for the good of many. Changes come with progress, whether you and I like it or not. Changes, changes, progress. What happens to the natural beauty of the land, the wilderness? Steel towers where pine trees should be growing. Overhead lines marring the skyline, cutting up the landscape, that's what they are. Not if the lines are put underground, and the landscape is restored. If, if, if. I, I've heard that talk before. I've got more than talk in this proposal, Sawyer. Presentation of facts and figures to show those people that underground lines in that area will be cheaper and more efficient in the long run. I've got a three o'clock appointment with those power people. Maybe you'd like to join me. I'd be I'd glad. Put him on. Excuse me. Yes, Benson. No, no refiguring. We've already let that contract to consolidate it. Any time. I'll get to this as the uh, time permits, Mr. Seward. I'll let you have an honest appraisal. As you probably know, I'm inclined against putting the lines underground. Why? Well, I have a duty to the stockholders of this company, Mr. Sawyer. I'm paid to keep the cost down. Well, due to the fact you don't have to make a very long run with those lines, that presentation will show your company they're going to save money over a period of years. They won't need any service patrols, no exposed insulators for crackpots to shoot at, no line damage from snow or ice. As a matter of fact, the underground insulations won't be bothered by any kind of weather. And folks won't have to look at some dang ice or cluttering up the beauty of nature's miracles. You brought some formidable opposition along, Mr. Stewart. I meant to, Mr. Alpert. That particular area is the most scenic one in my district. Oh, I'm sure it is. Excuse me. Miss Drew. Hold my calls, please. Thank you. As I was going to say, and I, uh, I hope you won't think I'm trying to squirm off the hook here, all I can do is make a recommendation in this matter. The final decision is up to the board of directors. Oh, I understand that. That's perfectly fair. Look, I'll get to this tonight. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm flying my copter up to the survey camp, have my engineers take a look at this, and we'll uh, see what they say. Well, there are two sides to everything, Mr. Sawyer. Believe me, I'll give your side every consideration. How are you going to think about the wilderness, sitting in here surrounded by cement and steel, listening to the clatter of the dang telephones and... Well, sometimes it isn't easy, Mr. Sawyer. I've got a job to do, and I do it the best way I know how. I'll let you know as soon as we have a decision. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Mr. Sawyer. Uh, same here. Bye-bye, Lassie. Hey, Lassie hasn't spent much time at my digs lately. Think she might come up for a few days? That's up to Lassie. How about it, girl? You want to save the old Boone a day or two? I guess the answer is yes. Yeah, that was a fine old time, won't we, girl? Sure, I wish there was some way to get that young man up there, show him a thing or two.
I say that thing's going down. something down near Snake Ridge. Tower control. This is helicopter 179. Come in, please. 179, this is tower control. Go ahead, Mr. Alford. Look, I had a uh, power failure here. I had set down in a clearing on a ridge about uh, oh, two miles south of Little Pine Meadow. Over. Are you all right? Over. Yes. Uh, well, I've got about an hour of daylight here. Can you send somebody in tomorrow morning? Over. 10-4. We'll dispatch a flight at dawn. You want us to notify the sheriff's department? They can get someone there on foot tonight. Over. No, there's no need for that. I can hike back to the survey camp. Uh, just tell my secretary what happened, all right? Over. Will do. Good luck. Tower control clear. 179 clear. Come down like a wounded bird, young fella. Glad to see you in one piece. Where are you heading off to? The survey camp. I can uh, spend the night there. You can never make it before dark. The way you're going, that's a three-mile hike. If my dig's just a ways back here. You're welcome to stay there. Thank you, Mr. Sawyer. You, uh, you sure you want me as a guest? What do you mean, because we're on different sides of the fence? Uh -huh. I'd do the same for a stray goat, young fella. <laughs> I'll accept that as a compliment. Well, maybe after you meet some of my family, you'll know it is. Now, this way. Engineers get a look at that? Yeah. Makes sense, don't it? Oh, it has good points. We're still inclined toward the overhead lines. Put them underground. It costs quite a bit more. Be Providence had a hand in this. You coming down the way you did? I'm not sure I follow you, sir. You're sort of stuck out here for a spell. Might be less in me can show you some things you've never seen before. All right, little one. Old Boone's got something for you. Part of my family I told you about. Not only the trees, but the streams and the valleys. Last single retreat from civilization. A place where a man can freshen up his mind, spirit, can harder to find every day. Look, sir, I, uh, I know what you're trying to say, what you're trying to do. I appreciate your views, but I don't think you do, young fellow. You've been in such a hurry to get wherever it is you're going. I don't think you've taken time to stop and see where you've been. Let's get going. Be nice. 
nice, but to be kept that way for a little fellow. You're quite a sight, too, Mr. Sawyer. I don't know. I imagine there's a lot of folks who'd like to be doing just what I'm doing. Not many do it. Not many can. Some of them are too busy putting up power lines. Progress means change, Mr. Sawyer. The world moves forward. Sure does. Doesn't have to all be power lines and highways, billboards. This country of ours was born in wilderness, Mr. Albert. Untamed land. Young fellas like you tamed it. The land gave you the materials, the wood and the minerals, things you needed to make that progress of yours. That's true. Don't you think it's about time we gave some of it back and return? Stillness where you can find a whole lot of answers if you just listen. Well, I've done enough talking, I guess. I expect you'd be interested in some grub. Nothing very fancy, what you're used to. That's filling. Might even enjoy it. time to just uh, sit and enjoy breathing, huh? Oh, Mr. Sawyer, I guess I haven't. Uh, you ought to, son, before it's too late. No matter what you decide about that power line, slow down, boy. Yes, just slow down. A whole lot of beauty in this world would be a shame if you missed much more of it. you might have left. You sleep good? I'm afraid not. Had a lot to think about last night. That is an untamed land out there, Mr. Sawyer. I understand it now. You know, for the, uh, the first time this morning, I did what you said to do. Sat. Your breathing. I'm not just looking at those trees, Mr. Sawyer. I'm seeing them. Glad to hear it. Look, I can't promise anything. I'll uh, do everything I can to convince my board of directors those lines should run underground. That's good enough for me. Thanks, Mr. Sawyer. Thanks for making me slow down. <laughs> 